Hello? Mr. President, it's 6 a.m. Oh, okay. I didn't ask for five? She's allowed to do that? Sir? Oh, it's okay, thanks. You're up. Yeah, what the hell's going on? No, I gave you an extra hour. I checked with scheduling. There's absolutely no reason why you couldn't sleep an extra hour. I know, and when she called me at 5, I was going to say, call me back in an hour and go back to sleep. I was going to do it myself. You had a little plan. Yeah, now I missed the whole thing. You accidentally blew your plan, and you had advisors on this and everything, didn't you? And you had memos from senior staff, an Operation New Snooze Button. Mm. Operation Resting Eagle. Oh, no. Please tell me you didn't really name it. You know, I was having a little fun in my sleep. That's how I relax. Wait, let me put my glasses on. Something's turning me on about you, and I can't tell why. My hair's wet. Oh, yeah. He's working out. I got in late last night. I know. That's why I changed the call. We didn't even leave Nashville till after 10. I ended up touring a weapons research facility in Oak Ridge. They've got one of the most powerful reactors in the world. They were able to show me an insulin molecule, basically scoop up two zinc ions. Before your very eyes. You're a scientist, and you're still making fun of this? No, I'm making fun of you. Anyway, look, I'm trying to tell you something. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. You know what? That's OK. I'm going to get that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like me to lay out the papers? No, I'll get them, thanks. Yes, sir. Lay out the papers, yes, and today I'd like you to alphabetize them. He's just doing his job. Anyway, when we finally got back from Nashville, Leo was waiting. What's going on with Leo and Jordan these days? I don't know, but we're going to be interested in that less right now than we are in other things. What's the trouble, Sheriff Taylor? Foreign ops came out of markup. How is it? It's good. They only cut two billion. They shifted a half a billion from the sub-Saharan to Western Europe because I guess the crippling hunger in Provence has given the lactose intolerant a problem with, I don't know, but I can live with all that. Good. Clancy Bangard attached an amendment. Stipulating what? Stipulating that foreign ops dollars wouldn't go to any overseas clinics that counsel abortion. Is that out of the blue? Yeah. It is, I mean, it was. This is the Senate. They, they can do that. Well, I was just asking. I mean, does Bangert leave any indication? No, there's no indication. Clancy Bangert doesn't let me know. What do you hey, think? Hey, hey, I was just asking you. There's a handful, a handful and a half of cranky conservative senators who want this stuff. And they were just waiting to pounce. It's what happened. Clancy wants to reinstate the gag rule. Yeah. Is the bill sunk? I'm sorry? How many Democrats are defecting? I don't know yet. How many would defect if you asked them? I don't know. You didn't make the calls? I'm not prepared to do that yet. What would happen if you said, send me this bill with the gag rule, and I'll veto? I don't know. You talk to the leadership? I'm not prepared to do that yet. It's not that the money can't go to clinics that perform abortions. It's that it can't go to clinics that talk about abortion. I know what the gag rule is. I wasn't reminding you what the gag rule was. I was reminding you that you sent 11,000 U.S. troops to Kundu because on your inauguration, you told us that we were for freedom of speech everywhere. That's great, except people are starving to death, and they're dying of disease to death, and they can't cook the Bill of Rights. So we're for freedom of speech everywhere, but poor countries, where they can have our help, but only if they live up to Clancy Bangert's moral standards. What the hell kind of free world are you running? I really don't know, Abby. The day hasn't started yet.